All right, so uh, the vertical motion problem you have on the worksheet, which is going to be projected up here, um, it's going to use the appropriate position function for free falling objects, um, neglecting air resistance. Okay, so we're going to use the formulas in feet, negative 16 t squared plus initial velocity times time plus initial position um, in meters negative one half of gravity is negative 4.9 t squared plus initial velocity times time plus initial position. Um, in class we talked about it, you can talk to me about it later um, when you come in. So now, okay, so let's see, I don't know if you can read that that well, I'll read it just in case it doesn't come out on the, the, uh, the screen. S sub zero, S sub O, is the initial height of the object. V sub zero is the initial velocity, oh it does tell you, um, of the object, um, I don't know what that says right there. And G is the acceleration due to gravity. On Earth, the value of G, oh, we've got all this stuff, on Earth, the value of G is approximately negative 32 feet per second or negative 9.8 meters per second per second. Per second per second. Um, so we're gonna use that and it looks like we're gonna use a feet formula first. And we're gonna analyze this diver. This diver right here is on a platform that's 32 feet above the water. And um, the diver's gonna jump from the platform um, with the following formula. So negative 16 t squared tells me that we are dealing in feet. Well, we know we're in feet because we're doing negative half of gravity, negative half of gravity, um, or actually it should be gravity, shouldn't it? It should be half of gravity, not negative half of gravity. That's my fault. It should be half of gravity um, plus initial velocity plus initial position. So we, what our job to do today is we're gonna analyze, we're gonna think through all these problems and then we'll do them, right? Because, but don't get lost in the woods. This, this will be so easy if you just keep it clear. So we're gonna find out when does the diver hit the ground? So we'll run through this. So he's up there, this, right? So through diving, do you dive? I'm not even gonna say your name because I don't want you on video. But do you dive? I don't, want, I don't want to say your name, no, no, okay. Well, but let's just say, let's just say, yeah, you, you were a diver, anonymous person back there. So you were a diver, so they're going to jump off of the off of the platform. They're going to jump, you know, however high they want, whatever velocity they have. Gravity is going to take over and come back down. We're going to work down. So we're going to jump up. It's going to be very parabolic in nature, right? So so going to jump up and then they're going to come down. So let's I'll, and we and we're going to answer these three questions. When does the diver hit the ground? So that would be a situation like this. So here. Now we're going to take our platform and we're going to make it. We're going to make it an x y axis now. So the position, I'm graphing my position here. So this is s of t, my position function, starting at 32, and then my time axis down here. It's going to jump up. It's going to hit the hit the water, hit the x axis, zero feet above the water. Now let me ask you a question: Is this when? Okay, first of all, when? Is the answers units going to be in feet or going to be in seconds? Seconds, right? So this is going to be a this is going to be a, a when. It's going to be a t equals seconds thing. Is this a calculus problem or is this an algebra two problem? Oh, can how about this way? Could I graph that and could I find an intersection point when the curve hit zero? Is that a possibility? Did you do any calculus? No, okay, so that's gonna come up. So a lot of these when does happens, right? Then let's go on to the second part. We'll finish it, we'll do it all in a minute, but let's just keep thinking. Then once we do that, what is the diver's velocity at impact? So now velocity is a speed, so we were talking about earlier. So that is gonna be the answer to that is going to be in a feet <coughs> per second ratio. That's a velocity. So now that means um, we're going to need to take the derivative of position, 
the rate of change of position is my velocity function. So we're going to need to find the derivative of position, and then we're going to need to plug into that velocity function the time that the impact occurred. All right, and then the third one, I'm going to let you do. It combines both of them in one question, which will be like your quiz. What is the diver's velocity when he's halfway down? Right, so that's going to be a, that's going to be a, a you're going to need to find when he's halfway down. That's going to be an algebra 2 problem or a calculator. I do not mind. At this point, all I need to see on your quiz is S of t equals 0 and then t equals the time. I expect you to put it in your calculator. I don't want you to do algebra. I don't want you to factor it. I don't want you to. That's not what we're going for here. right? So, so that's all the answer to that will be. And then we'll go forward. All right, so let's go ahead and do it, and then uh, we'll refresh as we keep going through. So all of us, please put into, the, put into your calculator negative 16x squared plus whatever, 16x, I believe. plus 32. And then my preferred method is um, setting a second equation equal to zero and finding the intersection. You do whatever skill you like best. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to be a gif. I'm just going to keep jumping until you get the answer ready. Alright, ready to go. <laughs> okay. What, what, what I was waiting on the board. So what what time what time did you hit the uh, the water? Still working on it? Okay. I'm gonna gif. Okay, hurry up, I'm gonna gif more. Okay. So then you got it? Oh, uh, <laughs> you. you broke your one rule. You you couldn't. I didn't you know. said it too. Remember that one? Remember that one? Alright. Just said you what is it? Um, Lulu, Lulu. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and write it on there because you're all saying it. Is that is that what your calculator gave you? If not, speak up. Right. Okay. All right, so, so we calculate the intersection, algebra two, got our, got our value out. So that's when the diver hit the water. That's great, wonderful. We wanna know what the, what the diver's velocity is at impact. Cause that's gonna, you know, that's gonna affect if, you know, if he doesn't go in smoothly, you know, if how hard is it gonna hurt, that sort of thing. So um, let's, let's analyze that. So I need to take that time and analyze it inside the velocity function. Well, the velocity function is the position's derivative. Actually, I should have put it there. There we go. Velocity is position's derivative. So then v of t, v of 2, would be, well, let's think. Let's, let's take the derivative in one step. So the derivative of, I'll just write v of t, just to make sure we do it, sorry. Let's take the derivative. So the derivative is negative 32t plus 16. Polynomial, nice and easy, nice and smooth. Now let's evaluate the derivative at that time. So I want to see your v of 2 is equal to your negative 32. Or you can give me the answer. I don't want all this, but you're fine. Negative 32 times 2 plus 16. What does that give me? Negative 64 plus 16 is what, negative 48? Mm -hmm. All right, let's put a unit on it. So our unit, the change, in, the change in distance is in feet, and that's at a rate of per second. So one more time, then we'll stop uh, the video and the other, and everyone else can do this, okay? So, um, so we took 
the equation. Basically, we were given the equation this time. And as we develop experience, I'll have you write the equation. But for right now, we were given the equation. And that is the position function. We were asked to find when he hit the water. And we did that using Algebra 2, our calculator. We set the position function equal to zero and calculated the time. And that time was two. Then once we had that information, once we had the time that he hit the water, then we plug that into our uh, velocity function, which is our position's derivative, and that gave us the actual velocity at the time, negative 48 feet per second. Okay, so um, would you stop the video for me, please?